grow your own herbal remedies by Maria Noel Graves. How to create a customized herb garden to support your health and well-being. So if you are, if you have a green thumb <laughs> or green thumb, this can be your your type of book. Or if you have access to get fresh stuff, part of this book can be for you. So part one deals with skills for making medicine. So if you like, if you are able to get like the fresh stuff and you like making your stuff, this book can also be for you too. Um, part two goes um, into the remedy gardens. Part three, healing garden, healing garden herbs. So under each chapter, part tells under each part tells what chapters and what's in them. So a uh, quick reference in the contents of if you want a specific thing, just look in the contents so you don't have to really look in the index. But you can look in the index if you want. <laughs> so part one, an introduction to gardening. It's not zone specific. And what I find when looking, when I have looked at gardening books, all like, it's more, it is more US specific zones and you get very little of like Ontario <laughs> and so that's not very helpful if you are from Canada and not just from Ontario <laughs> or like the bottom portion of Ontario. <laughs> so yeah, a variety of topics uh, introduced from getting soil ready to harvesting remedies like tea, tinctures, and others. Uh, for gardens, um, nutritive forager, the flavor garden, recipes, uh, side notes, more ways to use mineral rich herbs, um, tea based notes and stuff. So. Um, that's part two, so you do get a um, site variety of different topics being um, written for you. So part three goes through um, different plants in alphabetical order. So like you get, um, under each you get growing, medicinal, harvesting, and other garden info. I'm near my furnace, so if you hear random things, that's what it is. And fish tank. Um, you get a recipe with the page number that has the herb that will be used in it. So, um, like basil, you will go to page whatever for a recipe that includes basil. Appendix, so you get general use of herbs by condition, uh, gen general use of flowers uh, by condition, herbs for specific climates, um, and at the end you get measurements and metric conversions, and you get some resources and further readings. So you are getting a whole lot of things thrown at you in this book, <laughs> but it can be a good book if you don't want to get, like, purchase or borrow from your library or whatever, like, a whole stack of, like, gardening books just to get, like, a few things out of it. But that's the good thing about a library. <laughs> At the end of reading it, you return it, so <laughs> free of charge. So, but yeah, you do get a, quite an array of topics and quick introduction to different um, gardens and herbs and recipes. So, if that is an attraction to you, this book is a full-on option for you. So. 
grow your own herbal remedies. Happy readings.